continue. <laughs> okay. So you just feed that up through like that. Okay, so we went in. Say an inch or so. I mean, that's not probably an inch, but just for time's sake. So then you come out, um, and you can go back in again. So just kind of. Okay. So you came out after like an inch or two. About an inch or so, yeah. And then go more back more. in. And then back in. <laughs> It helps if you kind of lay it on your finger. Spread out the... And just kind of work it up in there, and it'll eventually... Those strands will kind of separate for you, and you can push it up through the middle. It likes to push out the back side, too, so you kind of have to watch that. But anyway, hang on a second. It's usually a little easier if you push it onto it. Right. Rather than trying to push your needle through, it just kind of helps those fibers spread out a little better. Yeah, don't hit mine, please. So, it's feeding on there. Cool. And then, you know, again, another inch or so. And then I didn't leave near long enough tag end to pull back through those. Right. But you would just put your... Wouldn't it be easier just to go to my You're tag in through. Okay. And then you would pull it back through your through your two. Now, yeah, go, go to your email. again, I didn't leave near enough tag. Oh, so you put a loop in. Yeah, so that's where your loop's coming from. Okay. Is that, and then you would pull that back, back through. And then when you... It didn't. I didn't have a long enough tag, so it actually didn't go back through got the it. second one. Got it. But normally it would, um, and then it's on there. Awesome. So, and again, you can pull off one side, and it pulls back.